Hi everyone, welcome to lecture 3 of Introduction to Programming with Python. So the goals of this lecture are to write your first Python script using the print function and do some basic arithmetic. So let's go to Spider to get started. Just a reminder of how to get to Spider using the Windows button. You have to click Anaconda and get to Spider from there. So I already have it open. I'll go there directly. Let's begin writing our very first program, which is Hello World. So type print and in parentheses type Hello World. Notice the quotes here. So the quotes are because the, 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 the string Hello World is all characters. If this was numeric, then I don't need the quotes. If I wanted to type something numeric, like let's say number 5, I wouldn't have the quotes. I have the quotes only because I have this string hello world. Now the question is how to run it. So there are multi multiple ways of running this, this script. One is to hit this button, square triangle, right on top. And what it does is it runs the current selection of my code. But what, what it means is that it'll, it will run the part of the code that I have selected or where my cursor is. So my cursor is on this line, so it will run this line. Another way of running this code is to run this entire file as a standalone script. For that, I'll have to go and save this first. So let, let me try running this. And for that, you have to use this green button on the top. So let me try running this. The first thing it will do is it will ask you to save this script somewhere. Let me save this as hello world. You can name it anything you like. And then save it. Now it will give me some options of how I want to see the output. I want to see the output in the current console. So I leave it as it is. And then the directory of the file being executed. So that is my working directory. I don't want to change any of the default options. So I just keep them as, as they are and ask it to run. So now you can see the output on the console on, the, on your right, which is hello world. And this is what we wanted our program to do, right? So now the next goal of my lecture is to get you acquainted with some basic arithmetic like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division in Python. Let me open a new file for that. Let's begin with addition. As you can see, there is this hash sign that I used for typing addition. So this hash is for comments in Python and this is something that will not be executed but that will be good for your own reference. So if you're writing a new program, you want to describe it, just use a hash and then, then, then write the description. This is addition. Now, as I said, print is something that will create an output for whatever you have in those braces. So I have print braces, I want to print five plus four. So let me print this. In your console, you have the output, right? Which is nine. Another way of doing the same operation is to directly write 5 plus 4. This will also give me the same output. And I can type this 5 plus 4 directly here. This will also give me, and then, then hit enter. This will also give me the same output. So these are three ways of doing this. Let's move to subtraction. Similarly, so I have the subtract, subtract sign 6 minus 3. And then I just run it. I can do the same as I did in addition here, but I'm not repeating that. Moving to multiplication. The sign for multiplication is the star sign. So if I'm doing five times four, sorry, five times four, it's the star sign. Right? And then finally division. Let's say I want to divide 8 by 4. I know the answer should be 2. Now notice that the answer has a decimal in it. So this is something that is called a floating point in Python. Until now we were getting whole numbers and these are referred to as integers in Python. So these are integers that, that do not have this decimal. But the moment you have the decimal sign, the, the decimal point I would say in a number, that's a floating point number. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. Let me show you one more example to make things clear. 
Now 3.5 is a decimal number and this is called a floating point in Python. There is another variant of division in Python that's called floor division. And this truncates the decimal without rounding. Let me show you what that means. I'm printing 7. But instead of a single slash, I should have two slash for, for floor division. So print 7 double slash 2. Now the answer is not 3.5 anymore, it's 3 now. So as you can see, it truncated the decimal without rounding it, right? Let's do another example to make things clear. Now again, it truncated the decimal without rounding, right? So that's floor division. One more operation that I would like to talk about is the modulus operator. And this is important because we use it a lot in, in a number of programs. So print 7 percentage 2. So percentage is the modulus sign or the modulo sign in Python. And what it does is will be evident once we run this line. Now you can see that the output is 1 which is the remainder when you divide 7 by 2. So if you require only the remainder out of a division um, operation, this is the way to do it. Just use the percentage sign. Okay. Also I would want to talk about how to get powers. For example, 2 to the 3, right? So for powers, I will have the star sign twice instead of once, like for multiplication, we had it once, now we have it twice. So this is 2 raised to 3 and that's it, right? The order of operations follows PEMDAS. I will just note it down. So when you're writing a bigger expression, it's PEMDAS, which is Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So it will follow that order. But you can definitely use parentheses to specify orders, right? For example, I can use print and then I want the addition to be done first. So I will say 2 plus 10 and then multiply it by something and then do that in parentheses again. So so I can overwrite this PEMDAS, but if you don't have these, these brackets there, it will follow PEMDAS only. So just something to remember. For example, if I had an expression of this type, like 2 times, or like 2 plus 10 times 6 minus 4, the order of the operations would, would be PEMDAS by default. Okay, so this is it for this lecture. In the next lecture, I'll talk about variable assignment. Now that you know how to write the basic arithmetic operations in Python, you should be very well prepared to do variable assignment. Thank you.